Friends, it is time to personalize our Tinkercad turtles, so let's get cracking. All right, so step one, of course, is to have built your turtle. This is a tutorial I've created. It's super fast, built for classrooms. You can find it by typing bit.ly slash hlturtle. Of course, once completed, it's really fun to print, and even better if you personalize it. Let me show you how to do it. So, of course, step one is to get it built. Once again, simple shapes, cool pattern. And if you look underneath, I have added HL Mod Tech with my little YouTube logo. This is simply a cutout. If I click on this and choose Ungroup, you'll see that this is where the eyes and the keychain are being cut in. And then also, if we hide the body, you can see the HL Mod Tech and the logo being cut in as well. Let's spin back so you can see that from the top. Obviously, that is reversed. If I do show all, it all comes back. I'm going to grab my entire project right now and do Control D. And let me show you the first way I would customize this in a classroom. I like keeping the parts separate. That way, it's easier to group. I'm going to click down here and get rid of the HL Mod Tech one. And let's add just a normal piece of text. When you bring it out, if you do a student's initials, that is likely the smartest. If their name is short, that works as well. Let's pretend we've got somebody named Tim. Make it a whole. You can pick from any of these fonts. And then I'm going to shift squeeze to make it fit. Right now, if you click on it, it's size 44. The body of our turtle is only about 27. So I'm going to make it less than 27. There's 24. Now I can do show all again, and let's get this aligned. If I do shift select, L for align, click on the shell, I want it to be centered and centered. If we look underneath, you can see that it is not the way we would want it. And then we need to flip it one more time to get it looking the way it should. Also, I want this to be a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my grid to point one. And then when that shape is clicked on, we can do Alt-Shift and get it so it's in the exact location we want for our turtle. This leaves a little bit more room all the way around it. Real quickly, I want to set the height, so I'm going to hide this. And then from this angle, we can click on it, and we want to make sure that it's going to cut in one millimeter and press Enter. Now we can quickly hit Show All. Let's select the parts of our awesome little turtle. And of course, do control G to group. Notice the red lines mean it's grouping and check it out. There is our personalized Tinkercad turtle. Of course, the next step is to export it for 3D printing. We can simply click export. We only want the selected design and we're going to save it as an STL. Make sure you save it where your teacher tells you to. And then instead of the word copy of, Put your name in front of it. I'm also going to add an initial like Tim G just so we know whose turtle is whose. And then finally hit save changes. Of course, I've got more tricks. Let's not quit there. Do control D shift nudge to move this over. Notice it takes a little longer because we've got that point one nudge. We want to click on this, ungroup it. I'm going to click on the shell and we're going to delete Tim. And we're going to switch to another program, Canva, to get our next chunk of text. Canva is absolutely awesome. I always choose sign in with Google. We are going to create a design. I'm going to use the simple Instagram square post. We're going to move over to text and I am going to add a text box. Initials are likely still the smartest, but let's try a longer name like Samantha. And let's try a font that is a little bit more fun. There are tons to pick from but you want to make sure you have a font that's not too thin. I'll show you real quickly if we go to handwriting. If you pick one of these, this is really just too thin to likely work on the back of a turtle. If you had something like this, there is a better chance, but it is still pretty complex. And just find a font that is relatively bold. I'm going to work with this one right here. You could make it all caps. I'm going to go with upper and lowercase. And then here's the magic part. We're going to go to effects and we're going to add a curve. To make this spread out a little further, of course, this is the max. This is how you would go underneath if that's how you wanted it to go. 
But check this out. If you move to the spacing, you can space out the letters so that it goes further around the turtle's body. So pick the number that you like. Whatever one you choose is absolutely fast, fantastic. You just want to make sure that you have something that makes you happy. I'm going to go back to right here. I think that covers enough that I'm going to be happy with it. And now we need to turn it into an SVG file. My favorite way is with a screenshot. I have got a shortcut so I can grab it in one easy step. Once grabbed, I like to choose File and Export, and I'm going to put mine in my Downloads folder and hit Finish. Now we need to switch to PickSVG.com. It is a free SVG converter, and we need to upload that picture. It's already in my Downloads. I want to switch to the internal one. This will make sure that I only have the edges, and we want to download that SVG. I'm going to save mine in my downloads folder and I'm going to call it Sam. That way I can keep track of which one it was. And it is time to return to Tinkercad, choose import, and we want to find the SVG file we just created. We only want the art. Notice right now it is huge, almost 200 millimeters. We know that we want to make it about 23 millimeters. It converts the other one automatically and we can simply hit import. After a moment, it appears. We can move it into location. I'm going to look at it from underneath just to remind us that it is backwards. Let's hide the shell for a moment. All right, for a moment, I'm going to make this a bright color so we can just see what we're doing better. If we do show all, if we click a few times, you can actually find the words. Let's use mirror to get it the way we want. I want to flip it that way, and I want to flip it this way. I'm going to flip it one more time, and this time we finally got the word Samantha aimed the way we want. It's going to fit inside the body, which is awesome. I'm going to switch it to a hole, and I'm going to do shift select to get the shell and the word. Let's do a line, make the shell the boss, and choose center. That is going to cut out fine, but we do need to make it a lot shorter. You can see it was poking way out. We always want to make this one millimeter thick. When you look underneath, there it all is. We can grab all of those parts and do control G to group. And bingo, just like that, a customized turtle. If you want to add something in the middle, like I had my YouTube logo, you can simply bring out something like the heart. Of course, we do have to make it smaller. I'm going to just shift shrink that to a size I like. Of course, I'm going to make it a hole, set it to the one millimeter high. If we look at it from underneath, I can move it into place. We obviously need to flip it. And then I'm also going to shift select and do L for a line. Once again, setting it to middle and middle. Grab it all and do control G to group. How cool is that? Of course, to export this one, you also simply click on it. Notice it says only the selected shape. STL, store it wherever your teacher asks you to put them, but this time, make sure you put your name in front of it. This one would be for Samantha. And hit save. Friends, there you have it. Simple steps to take a fun Tinkercad turtle and add some cool branding to it. Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to everyone. Support me via Patreon. Also, I want to remind you that every time you click that like button, add a comment, or share it with somebody else, you're helping the channel grow, and it's always appreciated. Finally, friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little farther, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is fully explained in this video. Of course, I do want to highlight the coupon code 25HLTinkerCAD as it'll get you 25% off any of the awesome courses at cadclass.org. Of course, you can get there by simply clicking this link.
Friends, just a quick reminder about the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.